Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee's Classroom. It is day four of our temporary school closing. Holy smokes, it feels like it is just flying by, which is a good thing because I can't wait to see you guys. Um, today's daily top 10 things to do without electronics are have a scavenger hunt, have an indoor picnic, face paint somebody, make sock puppets and have a puppet show, play tic-tac-toe, have a cup stacking race, read someone else's favorite book, try to count as high as you can, tell someone you love them, make a ring toss with bottles, and color in a coloring book. Um, I think those sound like really fun things to do while you're stuck inside um, practicing your social distancing. Um, remember to get parent permission before you do any of those things, especially the face painting. And remember to wash your hands um, after everything you do just so that we um, can make sure we're staying healthy. Today's book, um, I'm really excited to read to you. I have not read it before, but it is a very special request from a very special little girl. So know that I'm sending you lots of love as well as everybody else. And the book is Norwal, Unicorn of the Sea. So I haven't read this book. Um, but I flipped through it a little bit and it looks really cute. It is my first graphic novel we're going to do, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, Norwal is really awesome. One day, when Norwal was out for a swim, he found himself in new waters. Whoa, what are you? Me? I'm a Norwal. Sorry, I'm Norwal the Norwal. A Norwal? Yep, unicorn of the sea. Are you real? Last time I checked, are you? Am I what? Real. Um, yeah, I'm a jellyfish. Jellyfish, hee <laughs> hee. That sounds funny. You've never heard of a jellyfish? Nope. You don't look like any fish I've ever seen, but you do look kind of jelly-ish. I'm, I sure have an amazing imagination. I can't believe this. The thing I'm imagining is imagining that it is imagining me. Prove it. Prove what? Prove you're real. Can you prove that you're real? Sting. Hee <laughs> hee, that tickles. But it still doesn't prove you're real. I could be imagining that tickles. You could imagine anything. Yep. Pretty much. Look, things like you don't exist. I mean, what is with that horn? It is actually more of a tusk tooth. Then why is it coming out of your forehead? Because I'm awesome like that. It is pretty awesome. Thanks. Hey, I know what you are. A jellyfish? An imaginary friend. We're friends? Sure thing. Cool. Well, you might not be real, but I think you'll be a real good friend. Want to go eat waffles? Um, sure. Really fun facts. A Norwal's long horn-like tooth can reach up to three meters or ten feet long. Wow, I'm amazing. I brush every day. Norwals can weigh 1,600 kilograms or 3,500 pounds and hold their breath for 25 minutes. The record dive depth for a Norwal is 1,800 meters or 5,905 feet, which is over one mile. In recent research suggests that Norwals can live up to 90 years. That's a long time. More really fun facts. There are nearly 4,000 types of jellyfish in the world. Whoa, I wonder what kind I am. The awesome kind. A group of jellyfish is called a smack, not to be confused with the snack. Jellyfish have been around for millions of years, well before the dinosaurs. The sting from some jellyfish can be deadly for humans. The deadly ones are found mainly in Australia. This chapter is called Norwal's Pod of Awesomeness. Hey Norwal, why are you looking under that rock? Ahoy Jelly, I am looking for my pod. Your pod? Yep, 
I read on the net the other day that Norwals usually travel in groups called pods. I seem to be missing mine, so I'm looking for it. Norwal. I'm not sure you'll find a Norwal pod around here. You're the only Norwal I've ever seen. In that case, I guess I'll make a pod. Make a pod? Sure, and I do I know just who will want to join. Shark! This is going to be podtastic. Ahoy, shark! What's up, Norwal? Making a pod. Want to join? For shark? Just put this on. Gnarly! Ahoy, turtle! Want to be in our pod? Turtley! Come be in our pod, Mr. Blowfish! Okay. Octopus, your garden is amazing. So is our pod. You should join it. Oh yeah, tentacular. Norwal, aren't you going to ask me to join? Oh, I didn't ask. I guess I thought we were making the pod together. You do want to be part of our pod, right, Jelly? Um, well... What does a pod do exactly? I'm not really sure. But I imagine a pod plays ultimate cannonball, eats waffles, fights crime, and... Has super awesome parties! I do love parties! Podtastic! The Norwal Song. I am a Norwal, a happy little Norwal. I like parties. I like waffles. Because I am a Norwal, happy little Norwal. Norwal! This chapter is Norwal and the best book ever. Ahoy, Norwal! What are you reading? My favorite book in the whole wide water and probably the rest of the universe too. Wow, can I see? Sure thing. Um, Norwal, flip, flip. This book is flip blank. It's an imagination book, Jelly. You've got to pretend. Um, okay. Yeah, not seeing anything. I've got an idea. First, close your eyes. Now what? Now think about one of your favorite things in the world. Make a picture of it in your head. Yum, waffle! Next, think about a robot. Picture a giant angry robot. I'm scared of giant angry robots. Good thing that Waffle is a Kung Fu master. Look at the book and see a picture of it battling the robot. You're a toast, Robofo. Swoosh, snap, grr, thump. I've got an idea. The Waffle should have a sidekick, a strawberry. Nice one, Jelly. I get it, Norwal. This book is the best. It can be about anything you want it to be about. Turn the page. I want to see what happens next. Is that a sea monkey? He looks funny. Sea monkeys are funny. They tell really great jokes. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Hooray! The robot is happy now. Hard not to be when a sea monkey is around. Can I borrow this book? Sure thing. Just don't get the pages wet. Super cute book. I absolutely loved it. Thank you for the suggestion. That was super awesome. If anybody else has any suggestions, drop it in a comment. I would love to read whatever you guys want me to read. I have tons of books. So, 
just make, make a suggestion and I'd love to read it for you. Remember that I'm still thinking about you and I still love you and I want you to stay healthy and safe and I want you to have a good time. Reach out to me if you need anything. I'm always here for you. Um, I can't wait to see you guys and until next time, have a good night.